morning and welcome back to the Japan Vlogs and welcome back to Tokyo. So today is an early morning start but we are at Sneezy Outer Market where we'll be exploring the retail side of everything the market has to offer. So this originated as a market for wholesalers and retail and it's famously known for their fish and tuna auctions but since moved in 2018 to a different part of Tokyo for the wholesalers but the retail side still remains here and it's not just fish even though it's famously known for it you can also still get vegetables you can get meat you can get souvenirs and a bunch of things and the phone is ringing over there so today we're going to be going on a three hour food tour trying a lot of things from fried fish cake to sushi to tea to sake and it's a perfect day for it because it's super super rainy it's super super cold so i can't think of a better thing to greet it than with some really really warm and comforting food and this tour is courtesy of get your guide which we've booked fire them and they've gifted us two tickets to go and eat to a heart's content. So big thank you to the guys for gifting us this experience. And this has also been booked via a local tour company called Japan Wonder Travel. So our tour guide is Toshi. He's been so smiley and friendly and informative so far. So I'm excited to see what we get up to. But first we have to eat because fried fish cake is calling. Hey, 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 oh, it's like a little fried fish cake lollipop. <laughs> the first thing we have some fried fish cake. So it's cod based, but it's also mixed in with some shrimp, mixed fish, and also mixed vegetables and it's just been fried on the grill there mm. so when you first have it it is oily on the outside but it's very very soft and you've got a little bit of like a chewy skin but it's very fresh you can taste a little bit of the cod and the shrimp Oishi. Oishi. <laughs> it's super super comforting i love fish cake so this is really good there's no spice a little bit salty a lot of flavor Oishi. Oishi. <laughs> also, Toshi is teaching us some essential Japanese phrases. I may get this mixed up because I've just learned it, so please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But doi gashimashita is means you're welcome after you say arigato, or guys, arigato gozaimasu, which is thank you very much. And you go doi gashimashita. And there's another one that's like very delicious, which is sugoku oishi. I need to ask him again, I've just forgotten it. So the next thing we have is the egg omelette, and this is made with dashi stock, salt, sugar, and soy sauce. So it should be a little bit sweet as well and some people call it very very similar to the french toast because of the ingredients but it's just been made in the square pan and prepared and cut up in these little sampling chunks okay first taste mm. it was very very light it almost tastes like a pudding it's sweet you can taste a little bit of the sugar but it is very like eggy taste. I can also have it with a multitude of different ingredients like mushrooms, green onion. You can also get some seafood in there as well, so depending on your taste. If you want something simple, great. Oishi. I do oishi for everything. So this is where the magic happens and they're doing a cracking job of it. An excellent job. Um, but it's really satisfying to watch because they all have the different pans they're preparing it to. And it's actually a very slow moving base. And then once they remove the omelette from the pan, they then have a little like conveyor belt that goes all the way down to the bottom. So nobody has to move from their station. And each omelette is made with 10 eggs in a pan. It's so satisfying. It's like cooking mama but in real life. We've just tried the sencha tea prepared at 85 degrees Celsius and it is sugoku oishi which is very delicious but this is the place that all the Michelin restaurants come to for their nori and their green tea and matcha. We are now exploring around the fish market and this is the wholesalers part but after 9am it's open to the public. Fatty tuna is my favourite part. Toshi is treating us to some blue fin tuna sashimi. So we've got some lean ones and also some fatty parts. And fatty part is my favourite type of tuna. <laughs> Next stop, we're trying some dry bonito flakes, also called katsu bushi. And this is used to make some dashi broth and also as a topping for things like takayaki and okonomiyaki. You can also put it on top of rice, a little bit of soy sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep 
just roasted. Uh, it's like a peanut. Oh, we're on the bean stock now. This one is a roasted black soybean, and apparently ninjas eat it for a snack, and it's good for your skin. Oh yeah, it's hot like peanut. It's like a milder version of a peanut. And black sesame. It is black sesame, and then also just a sweet version. It's a little bit caramelized, but it's soft when you chew into it. So she said this is the number one seafood place to get oysters and the seafood needs. Remember the store. <laughs> and we're trying some sake and we've got this little cup as a present and it's got Japan, Wonder Travel and the Tokyo Free Drink Tour as well so we'll forever remember this. Mm -hmm. So saying cheer, you say goodbye. So goodbye, cheers. We're going there. Konnichiwa. To end the food tour, we are now at Tamasushi and we've just been presented with this sushi set each which is very generous so so she was just telling us that this tuna yellowtail tuna squid salmon shrimp omelette roe and tuna maki and we also have Slap. some <laughs> udon as well this one isn't tuna it's bonito and all of them already have wasabi underneath i've learned another japanese phrase onakai ipai which means i'm full and i try onaka means stomach Right? And if I means full. Stomach full. On a cat, if I. <laughs> Now's a good time to say that we are at Team Lab Borderless and it is an interactive art exhibition that connects our world and allows you to discover new worlds of technology. This is like the butterfly room. So these butterflies follow you and the room changes from room to room. So it's so cool, look. Ah. <laughs> Wow, I've never crossed this in the rain before. Especially when it's rainy, it was so good. We loved it. I'll tell you more tomorrow. But right now, we are at Isakaya Tepen something, which I'll put the name like it's a really long word. And it's amazing because all the staff are like shouting and singing and dancing. And we sit um, by the counter with some fried chicken. Okay, so we got fried chicken, some beef as an appetizer. We also just have some beef simmered with tofu in this broth with green onions. We also have some cheese potato salad as well. I'm gonna try jellyfish for the first time on camp. <laughs> It doesn't taste anything like seafood. It tastes like crunchy, sour pickles. But I think I like it. It's good. Yeah. Oh. yeah. We 
have just left uh, Izakaya and Hannah reached into her pocket and was like, oh, something's warm and she brought out a freaking hand warmer. So I saw him do this to another guest earlier and I didn't know what it was and I didn't know what they were putting in his pocket. But when you leave the Izakaya, they put a hand warmer in every pocket because it's winter. So when you leave, your hands are warm. We are next door in a craft beer place now and it's going to be live music. We are a little bit tipsy, someone in the vlog here. So I hope you enjoy today. Definitely go to Borderless Team Lab, amazing. And definitely, definitely, definitely book the food tour, especially if you're the first time here. In Japan, you've got open mind, you love food, and you want to try a bunch of things. And make sure you get the guy to be Toshi because he is amazing. Like, so, so friendly, so knowledgeable, really, really great guy. Um, and yes, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already for more food travel and lifestyle videos. And I'm going to drink more beer and hug my hand warmer and I'll see you next time. Bye. We are in Tokyo, it's raining right now and Hannah wants to take us to Big Echo for karaoke. Hannah? Oh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this is when you know a place is it's like high tech. Ready? Water, dark in the 